Hey there, creators. Have you ever wanted to bring your own unique 3D models into worlds? Imagine the possibilities, a world filled with custom assets that truly make your experience stand out. Hi everyone, my name is Velen, and in this World's Creator Academy tutorial, we're covering exactly how to do that. Before importing into Worlds, you'll need to prep your model in your 3D software of choice. We're using Blender here, but these principles apply to any 3D program. Check your model's organization in the Outliner, clean up any geometry issues like overlapping faces or non-manifold edges, and use descriptive material names like Car Metal or Crystal Transparent to make sure that everything works smoothly once imported. Before exporting your model, it's important to triangulate its geometry to optimize for real-time rendering. Triangulation is the process of converting all the faces in a 3D model to triangles, which is the most basic and efficient shape for real-time rendering. This helps ensure that your model performs well in worlds. In Blender, you can easily triangulate your model using the Triangulate modifier. Once your model is triangulated, it's time to export it in a format compatible with worlds. The recommended format is FBX. To ensure the best results when preparing your models for world, keep these key considerations in mind. With material naming, you want to use descriptive names that clearly indicate the material type. Not using the correct material names will cause the model import to fail when uploading. You also want to make sure that you apply transformations before exporting, such as scale and rotation. This ensures the model imports with the correct size and orientation. And finally, you want to optimize your model's geometry for real-time rendering and triangulate the mesh before exporting. This prevents unpredictable shading issues when imported. By following these steps in Blender or a similar process in your preferred 3D software, you'll have your models prepared and ready for a smooth import into Worlds. Now that your model is prepared and saved in the proper FBX format, it's time to bring it into Worlds using the Model Import in My Assets. Model Import allows you to import external 3D models like the one we just created in Blender into your Worlds project. To access the Model Import, open the Worlds Desktop Editor and navigate to the My Assets folder and click the Add New button. From there, select Model. We open those. Additionally, we're going to turn off Preserve Offset Pivots in this. Then we click Import. Importing may take a little bit of time, but once it does finish importing, you can select the asset in your My Assets folder, and you'll see that it has additional information, such as its ID, who its owner is, and so forth. From there, we should probably try to see how the asset looks in Editor. So we're going to drag it out, and after a little bit of loading time, there we go. There's our duck. And we can kind of move around and see how it looks. In this case, this is exactly what I want. But if there were issues, I would go back to Blender and then change my materials, textures, or my mesh, and re-import using the exact same flow. If you notice any issues like distorted shapes, missing parts, or incorrect textures, don't worry. These problems can arise due to differences in how Blender and Worlds handle 3D data. It's common to go back and forth between Blender and Worlds a few times to get everything just right. Now that you've learned how to import custom models, you should continue iterating with your materials and textures until you find a visual quality and gameplay feel that works for your world. Feel free to check out our official documentation to deepen your understanding of material and model limitations. And don't forget to join the Meta Horizon Creator Forum, where you can connect with other creators and learn from each other. Keep an eye out for our other videos on texture import and world performance optimization. These tutorials will help you further enhance your skills and create even more impressive experiences. So keep creating and catch you in the next tutorial.